Hello and welcome back. So, Mr. Pirate over there is having a little bit of problem with number two. It also seems like we are not really able to uh, bust that tear now. So, I guess at this point, we start at the Lifter's Refuge, Radiant Court, or the Balefire Beacon. I just go to the beacon. Where do we need to go? Radiant Court. Okay, might as well go there first. So it's a smaller town, a lot smaller town this time around. Hmm. Also, well, I don't know what we're gonna do uh, when it comes to, well, taking down ships, I suppose. I suppose we just need to get stronger. We need to buy a bigger ship. That's what I'm thinking. Apparently we can't acquire a bigger ship, so we probably have to go back to, uh, to the capital and just say like, "Hey, what's hey, up, it's guys?" Hey, Those dreams of yours, they still getting to you? I can deal with the dreams, for better or worse. We sweat is the not knowing. What happens when I stand face to face with the God, and He reveals what He intends for me? What if it's not as I thought? Yeah. I've had thoughts like that for a long time. Except now I'm worried about what he intends for the world. Whatever it might be, at least we'll face it together. What? Okay, uh, sorry. Wait, what is that? I don't like it. Pirate. Pirate statue. <clears throat> Burnout. Fresh fruit, vegetables, dried goods for long voyages. I got it all right here. Is that so? What can I stock you up with today? Show me what you got. You have anything good? What the hell with this discount on items? That's not a discount. She just basically flat out says that, hey, what are you gonna buy here? You pay 20% more than everybody else. Like, wow. Andra's gills. There's no hope. Should we wait for the morning? Um, how do we wait? <laughs> okay, I'm trying to press the button, but apparently it's not working. Oh, it, Quickly, it's K. So it's almost dawn, pre-dawn, morning. Let's wait a little bit. Wait. So we are not creeping around in the night. Maybe they have more to do or, or say in the morning. Hey, Calandra. That was a disaster of epic proportions if ever I directed one. Arms flailing wildly before her, the stage performer shoes the other actors from the set. A typhoon couldn't have cleared out our audience faster. Wow. What did you guys do? I actually... I, I don't know. Not sure if the... The ship hat is really doing it for the audience. What's wrong? What's wrong? I'll tell you what, everything. Well, that's amazing. That means you gotta fix uh, everything. My troops coming apart at the seams. We're short on cash, we're low on people, and we've run plumb dry on enthusiasm. Aww, she takes the points on her fingers. We haven't drawn a decent crowd in more than a fortnight. And it ain't like pirates are hard to please. That's how you know the show really stinks. Huh. <gasps> you need more sex and violence. Free tips for you. But I think I know what the problem is. We've got a lack of flair. If only I could hire more talented performers. I just know my play would take off. Just more sex and violence and say, Arr! Done! I'll help you. What's your play about? What would you need to improve the play? Can I just say what I want to say? A better Aethus for one. I'm the tallest one in our troop. I'm still not very convincing even when I bother to dye my skin blue. Okay. Also, our special stage effects aren't all that special anymore. We had someone for that role, but she got herself into debt and has a new job at the King's Coffin. Oh, right, 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 right. It doesn't seem like this play is uh, something that the pirates would care about. 
What's your play about? Only the biggest thing to hit the dead fire since the Valian Trading Company started hunting us like sea hounds. Okay. I'm talking about Aethus storming through the archipelago and capsizing nearly a whole fleet of our ships. Good luck with that. I'll help you. Why do I help her? I'll help you. I can't. I'm face bowing while I press that. Really? Well, that's great. Then we could. Abruptly, her eyes narrow, her dark brows furrowing with heavy suspicion. Wait a tick. Why would you help me? What do you get out of this? Well, think, think, sister. Just helping out the fellow patron of the arts. We don't care about that. I don't see anyone else helping you, do you? Expect to cut up the profits, of course. I'd really like to see how your play turns out. I expect to cut up the profits, of course. Ah, oh, of course. Well, that's more than fair. Of course. I'm in desperate need of two more performers. Shh. A wizard for one, plus any oaf big enough to pose as Aethus. Damn it. A wizard? I happen to know a wizard of the finest skill set who already performs here in Dunwich. Tayana at the King's Coffin. But unfortunately, I got no idea of where we might find a suitable Aethus. Well, Maya, you want to be Aethus? And I will be the wizard. Get me the right people for the parts, and I promise you'll be pleased with your investment. I'll turn us a profit or die trying. Great. So, we need to... Well, that's not really specific, is it? Looking for work. I've got coin and a few scores to settle. Right. Uh, that's your all. So you're the captain the old port's been talking about. Aye, oh, you do look like a fearsome salt. Welcome to Dunnage. Thanks. What are you having? I'll pour you a double. Uh, Pietro sent me to you? He did? Ah, uh, I guess the last concoction I made for him didn't do the trick then. Poor bastard. There's one last tincture recipe I know that won't kill him. Probably. It's called Andra's Bile. But I don't have all the ingredients in stock. I have a lot of garbage that I gathered. What do you need? You'll need a rotten agfish, an unripened palm stone, and a vial of fire kelp extract. Have him mix it all with a half tank of grog and, well, hope for the best. What? You're just trying to upset his stomach. I already have. Just if you want to feed him trash or make him drink trash, we can do that. Where can I find the ingredients? Check the barrels around Lifter's refuse for the rotten hagfish. You might be able to find unripened palm stone for sale somewhere in Radiant Court. She pours a drink, but rather than passing it to a patron, she does it herself. Parker in the King's Coffin usually keeps some fire kelp extract on hand for special purposes. Be careful when dealing with that one. Why do I need rotten hagfish, not regular hagfish? The goal is to make him vomit, remember? A rotting hagfish produces a special oil once it reaches a certain level of decay. Yeah. Why didn't you try Undra's bile earlier? I did tell you the list of ingredients, eh? He'll have stuff dribbling out of both ends for a week. Maybe two if he's really unlucky. Oh boy. What do you know about the floating hangman? Her eyes go wide and she fumbles a bottle of spirits, spilling rum all over the counter. No one survives the floating hangman. Or so they say. It's the ship of the dead. You spy it on the horizon, you flee as fast as you can. Mm. Show me what you got. What? You hate me too? God damn it. <sighs> Disappointing. Desiro, what about you? You carry yourself like a person well acquainted with violence. Care to put your skills to use for a good cause? And some coin? I guess. The only thing that I don't like about these bounty missions is that you actually have to go back to the person who gave, gave you the bounty. Or maybe you can just do the bounty and just show up and like, Hey, what's up? Oh, by the way, I killed everybody. On your bounty list. Oh, you did. How convenient. Hmm? 
She dances a coin across her knuckles, mirth a bright glint in her eyes. Uh, so about the Bontys? It's simple enough. The firebrand commanded by Captain Henkwa once plagued the dead fire. The skill and brutality of Henkwa's crew was the stuff of legends. Dacero flicks the coin she's holding and snatches it from the air with a grip. grin. Up close it's clearly a Solonat. Legendary nightmares more like. After how they did the crew with a virtuous reward. Even that bastard Benwith wanted nothing to do with them. But pirate legends don't live long. Some months ago, an alliance of Neketaka pirate hunters managed to corner the Firebrand and sink her off the coast of Tikawara. They confirmed Captain Henkwa's death, but her senior crew members escaped unscathed. And now it seems like bringing the Firebrand's crew to justice doesn't matter to anyone but me. Even in the low light, you can see Owain throbbing at her temple. Her voice drops to a low growl. So I want you to kill them. And I'll pay you out of my own pocket if you do. Uh, I hunt down those pirates. What am I looking for? No, first ask the money. Ask for the money. Come on, Watcher. You, you suck at this. You can't just say like, oh yeah, I mean it's for free. No. What am I looking for? I hunt down those pirates. The Firebrand had a mascot. A useless little bastard. Who's taken to calling himself Lord Admiral Imp. He's not terribly dangerous on his own, but he's keen to make a nuisance of himself wherever he goes. She drops the bridge of her nose and sighs. With a sigh, uh, Seraphon rolls his large eyes. Last I heard, Lord Admiral Imp was making himself comfortable in Queen's birth. You'll find him there with a few Zarops and constructs, the little buggers convinced to follow him. Bless their simple hearts. Who's next on your list? You'll be taking down Lady Ipiro, Captain Henkwa's former first mate and rumored lover. She's a cipher, and a dangerous one at that. Epero maintains an estate in Serpent's Crown in Neketaka. But I wouldn't recommend you rush in muzzles blasting and swords held high. She keeps a number of bodyguards on her payroll. I'll be careful. Who else am I, am I after? You'll be going after Katren, the Firebrand's resident wizard. Rumor has it, she was once an apprentice to Arkemir before turning pirate. Last I heard, Katren and her sundry little minions could be found lazing about the sacred stair here in Neketaka at night. No idea where she disappears off to during the day. Who's the last target? Come on, keep him coming! I have a challenge for you, my friend. And his name is Torkar, leader of the Firebrand's boarding parties. He's an ogre, with a reputation for cleverness and cruelty both. I've even heard tell it was Torkar who was behind the Firebrand's most successful tactics, not Henkwa. Torkar was last seen at Lifter's refuge here in Dunwich, dead set on joining a crew, or assembling his own. I trust you won't let that happen. Farewell, so Lifter's Happy refuge. Hunting. Okay. Got it. Damn. Killing a lot of guys. Straight dog. We're taking you. Taking you as well. Ramasso. Ending over here. Some fishes. Welcome to my emporium. Whatever you need, I sell. Uh, what would you like to buy today? You own all these stalls? I do now. <laughs> I started out with only one stall and eventually branched out, buying out my competitors one by one. Great. Show me what you got. Discount? What tile is this? 35,000? That's a pretty good armor though. But not exactly 35,000 worth. Scoring a hit on a near-death target also damages nearby enemies. Scoring a critical hit grants accuracy and action speed. Stacks four times. Doesn't he have a... Okay. So, are we looking for something specific here? Ok, 
Okay, let, let's let's check it out. We got a ingredient list in Dunnage. No. There's a blue skinned Almana in Lifter's Refuge who could play the part of Eotas. The Visa Toerna. Okay, Iron Gut. Lifter Refuge, any rotten hackfish. One of the merchants at Radiant Court might have unripened palm stones for sale. Um, this is the place, right? Come on. This is the... Is this the Radiant Court? Yeah, this is the Radiant Court. Unripened. Uh, please. Uh, what would you like to... So this is not the guy. Who else is selling stuff? The Watcher is a regular oh. ship hunter's ship hunter. Aye, anyone who kills that many Valine trading bastards is a right hero of mine. Right. I'm glad you guys feel that way. I'm not too selective, but you know, if you kill everybody, apparently, you just make friends with everybody, right? <laughs> not really. Come on, give me some discounts. The first thing you notice about this man is the nature of his attire. Loud and clashing reds and purples bright as a peacock. On second glance you see that he's tall and lanky. Boyishly handsome in an uncapped way with a trim beard and, and a friendly smile. He hums a little tune to himself as he watches the passerby. My good lady, hello! <sighs> he gives you a frightfully cheery wave and becomes uh, you closer. Whatever might I do for you? Tell me about yourself. I'm certain there's no need to tell you, observant as you know that are, that I am an actor. Actor? He says the last bit with a flourish and takes you and takes an extravagant bow. Stage, tavern, street corner. They are as much my home as where I lay my head at night. So I travel Aora, looking for opportunities to share my gifts with the grateful masses. Wherever that may lead me. You make a lot of money doing that? Come on. That's probably a touchy topic. Obviously he's not. You make a lot of money doing that? Oh, goodness yes, loads of it. I've been known to joke that I'm less a man than I am a walking bank for all the coin that I carry. The common folk do so love an actor. We bring mystery and excitement to their otherwise dreary lives. Yes. You could say we're doing the gods' work. Well, you sold me. As he speaks, you notice that the toes of his soft boots are worn thin. A closer inspection reveals that his robes are unraveling at the hems and are well patched at the elbows, too. You're broke, aren't you? How dare you! But you're not wrong, to my great chagrin. Times have been tough of late. What with the giant statues smashing up the place, and few in the dead fire have coin to spare besides. It's quite difficult, you know, living as I do. On occasion, foolish folk will take my act for reality. I've thrice been run out of a town for impersonating a foreign dignitary. Damn fools don't understand the blistering wit of my satire, I tell you. Maybe just they didn't like your performance, man. I had to learn to protect myself as a result. Though, I must admit, what martial skills I've got aren't of use for much more than fighting off wolves or throttling a thief with designs on my satchel. Thank the gods, I hardly ever need to use them. I could talk myself out of nearly anything, you know. Yeah, you sure can talk, I'll give you that. Maybe you wanna join the, the local, uh... Acting club? Well, thank you. I must say it's gratifying to be recognized for one's talents. All things being equal, I'd much rather recite a sonnet than swing an axe, but a man's gotta make his way in the world any way he can. Can you teach me what you learned in your travels as a performer? I would be honored. But a man needs to make a living, you know. Okay. So, for my services, how about 3,000 copper? Interesting that they actually recorded the voice uh, with 3,000 copper, so they didn't even... Uh, they were pretty sure about this price uh, when they were recording the voices. They, you know, he could just say like, oh, I want to get paid or whatever, but like, he actually asked for 3,000 copper. 
Anyway, Enhanced Bluff and Street Fight, that seems pretty good because those have both passive skills. Fantastic! Let's get to it then. Yep. His training is <clears throat> idiosyncratic. He starts by describing a character like he'd like you to play, a street tough, an embittered sailor, a noble in the throes of, of tantrum. Then he recites lines to you, asking that you recite them back in the attitude of your character. He then shows you how to use those characters to trick people into giving you what you want. When you show him what you got, that you, you've got it, he gives you a wide smile and bids you farewell. I learned Cole's training. Right? My old captain was a I definitely didn't get scammed, right? It wasn't really a good actor, right? Always, he was real thin. He wound okay. up with a wooden Burnout, head. do you have the... A repeat cast? What can I stop you? Unripened thingy thingy. Oh, we got it. Done. I'm taking it. Okay. We are making progress here. Sunrise what about the treasure trove? Doves. What is this? The Massa? Looks like a ship. Welcome to the treasure trove, sailor. A strapping godlike blinks between the swollen, crazy tumors lining her eyes. Her lips crack, weeping a sappy substance as she speaks. Anything in my trove catches your eye, you let me know. What do you got? Right. What the hell is this? Mirror bag. Too expensive. Squid's Grasp. Accurate. Cannot be flanked. Grants. Special Escape. What? Kalmo's Lingering Resonment inflicts major defense penalties to nearby allies against in intellect deflections. Okay. So I suppose this is a really good weapon if you're. Like running a solo character, or maybe like a, a character that just rushes in and it cannot be flanked. And you can also escape. But for general use, that's not too useful. Hits twice, but with reduced damage. Does it? Oh yeah, it actually does pretty pathetic damage. Because it's legendary, plus 60%? That's pretty bad. Also, extra burn and moon damage. Hmm. That's actually not particularly interesting. Less raw damage taken? That's pretty much garbage. Well, more intent is more intellect is nice. Superb. What is this? Oh, Grand's Fireball. Eight charges of it. Whatever. We don't care about your stuff. Wait, what is over here? That would be stealing. Treasure trove guard. Yeah, we don't care about these stuffs. All right. So, we can go back. It's unhealthy to carry a lantern full of lost souls. You mean like if I keep at it, they're gonna do something worse than give me nightmares? I suppose we're past the point of unhealthy. <laughs> All right, let's go. So we can go to Lifter's Refuge, and we need to check this place out anyway. And we already been here, so probably it's gonna be a just a just a quick peek into this area with with some murder. <laughs> Apparently, we need to kill a guy. How's it gonna go? We're just gonna hey, are you this certain Mister? And one guy is just gonna say, yeah, it's me. Like, congratulations, uh, you, 
you won yourself a... Well, I don't know, one way trip. Oh, Torcar. Hey, Torcar. Uh, puny. Too puny to join my crew. I know, I know, I know, I know. I, I don't want to join your crew. Arms crossed, the hulking ogre looks you from head to toe. He spits at your feet, unimpressed. Pfft. Damn it. Go away. Be gone. Scram. Hey, there's a bounty on you. It is kind of you to announce yourself to me, bounty hunter. It will be just as kind of you to die by my hand. I didn't say I want to kill you. <laughs> Torkart. Why would you say such a thing? I'm not a dirty bounty hunter myself. <laughs> wow. What's up with the doggies attacking me in the back? Sotis, uh... Not in the best spot. Can we just do a heal on everybody? As well. Whoa, 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 we're getting shot at. Is that fast enough doing the consecration? Oh boy, Elot, don't be crazy. Why are you trying to go there? There should be an automatic don't go into the bloody. Uh, AOE effect. <laughs> that civilian died. Vita? Oh, what? Oh, this fight got out of control. We fa failed a lot of quests here. Should I just reload? Do we have an auto save when I enter the area? Please. I don't want to kill everybody. <sighs> Come on. This, is, this rarely happens in other games because uh, when you're fighting an enemy, uh, there's not that much friendly fire happening. But in this game, it seems to be pretty... Okay. First of all, they were stupid. They literally walked into the uh their death. I, I didn't hit them. They literally just walked into their death. Like what am I supposed to do with that? Like seriously. There's there's really not much to do about that. Can we just do a heal? Yeah, let's do an armor. Okay. Uh, how about terrify them? No, no, not that one. The uh, ring rim, frightened, terrified. Okay, uh, let's do some heals. Maybe I'm gonna be more careful with uh, friendly fire in this zone. I suppose that's sensible. So let's not do any AOE spells here, unless we wanna anger the population because. They're gonna be super mad when they just like taking their stroll uh, on the docks. Come on. This is not a uh, time to 
Ah, uh, well, I hate to say what you're doing there, buddy, but come on, we all know it. Come on, sharpshooter. Oh, that's better be the time bell spud. Still terrified. Still getting shot at. Yeah, Cutthroat Marauder. Help us out. Yeah. Help us out, Cutthroat Marauder. Maybe I should have more ranged characters. How about we just kill this guy? Rest in peace. Hey, look at that! We we're all friendly. Ah, uh, sure. Let's Boy. take it out. Hmm. What is that? Grants ability upon becoming near death. Grants what? Okay. I don't know. Let's see. So we want some belt. It's not that pricey. Reforge the flash. Weaver transforms into a stationary pillar of steel, reducing economic damage and restoring health. Uh, but on that, it gives you might and some crush armor rating, so it's not bad. Better than nothing. Wait a second. Do we have better stuff? Okay, that belt obviously sucks. And the characters are not gonna automatically use this uh, really useful skill this belt gives. So, we can return to Desiral. We can wait with that. That's the bounty. Speak with Captain Ferrante and do damage. No, no, no. Tidy performance. Oh yeah, this is why we need to find the blue skinned Omana. Barkumai! Have a pity and toss me a pyre, will you? How would you feel about playing the part of Eotas on stage? What? I'm no actor. And besides, I can't barely see nothing as it is. That's perfect! That's gonna be just uh how the actors show that Eotas is so um clueless and uh well aimless i suppose he doesn't really know what he's doing i believe believe me you're perfect for the role okay sucking up that's good you just need uh, to speak a few lines stand there and look intimidating in this troop being a good actor isn't the requirement <laughs> you're an idiot stand here and die of hunger damn it pays. Do you want the job or not? How about get him passionate about this opportunity? Believe me, you're perfect for the role, man. You really think so? Yes. He raises his chin up, tilting his face side to side as if examining himself in a non-existent mirror. Maybe I do have a mug made for the stage. It is true. I sure got the voice for it, eh? Yes, exactly. Turn me in the right direction. And I'll make me way to the Radiant Court. Great. You'll do great. Alright, Bakami. You're, you're, you're just fine. We need to go to Terna. Iron Gut. So we need to get some rotten hackfish. Didn't we already get some rotten hackfish in the barrel? Is it, a, is it food? Can we search? Oh, crap. I don't think we can search. It's gotta be some something... Of uh, ingredients? I don't think it's ingredients. It's gotta be quest item. We don't really see it. I have a lot of heads that I'm just carrying around. <laughs> Surely gonna make it awkward if uh, someone says like, Oi! Show me what you got! Like, yeah, one head, uh, one other head. It's just how it goes. Well, we don't see any rotten hagfish. Where do we see that? The unripened palm stone is here. 
So, the rotten hackfish. Well, actually, do we have it? Okay, never mind that. So, we do have that. All we need for the iron gut is that we go to the radiant court. No. <laughs> we go to King's Coffin. Yeah, King's Coffin. We need to go there. Ros Rosanella told me that I can purchase fire kelp extract from the King's Coffin. I acquired an unripened pawn stone. Did I? Oh, yeah, I did. Oh, yeah, it says actually we have the rotten fish. All right. You must gather your party. Well, it, it can be a little confusing that you ordered got the quest item that you need, but you uh, are not aware of it. I know it could be hard to miss, like having a rotten fish in your inventory, but in this in this scenario, we're just such hoarders that it, it doesn't even register for us. So, Jacob, do you sell those fire thingies? What can I do for you? Got any fire kelp extract for sale? Sure do. And at a generously discounted price too. 250 pounds. I'll take the vial of the extract. Be careful you don't get any of it in your eyes. Burns like a mother. Oh, burns like you wouldn't believe. Wouldn't wish that sting on anybody. Not even my worst enemy. Actually, yeah. Yeah, I would. He chuckles deeply to himself and as he hands you the vial of the fire kelp extract. Farewell, Jacob. So we have all that we need. Return to Iron Gut. What? Now we need to go back to Ondra, right? To Pietro at the King Coffin in Tomage, then stand the way back. Wait, we can order to give it to him? Damn, my God! Just kill me now! Lost my God's damn soul in stupidity! Andre, save me now! Wow, we're just mixing it ourselves. Um, <clears throat> I hope the dose is okay. Also, we forgot the ale, but hey. Uh, maybe we, we have an extra... Well, we have extra fish in there to compensate for it. Give him the ingredients for Andre's bow. Rosanet well, says this should work. He hand, hands trembling, Pietro hastily mixes the contents into a wooden mug half filled with water. With a final nervous swallow, he lifts the mug to his lips and downs the concoction. After several moments, nothing happens. And he shakes his head, expression grim. Oh. But then he goes white as a sheet, his throat follows red and his mouth pops open in a little oh, of surprise. Oh god! He's coming at me over right now! I gained the black pearl. Is it, does that anything? I don't know. Iron Gut scoops up the vomit coated gemstone, what looks like to be a black pearl the size of a small rock. It gives it a quick wipe down before thrusting it into your hands. Gross! Oh, now, if you'll excuse me, I need a change of bottoms. I think back occurs, he hurries off. You're welcome, Pietro. Why didn't we kill the guy for his stuff? I don't know. We could've just killed him and gotten him right here. We're just... getting to be such a nice people. Now we need to get, uh... Talerna on board, because we have everybody for the play. We got a blue skin though, mana, and we don't have Talerna. And I'm a little bit offended that, uh... She thought of using Terna. Good roll. Welcome back, patron. I so hope you enjoy the performance. I very much like it. It is satisfactory. Calandra needs you for her play. I'd be happy to go back working for her, except I owe Harker over there a good deal of money. She jerks her head toward the far end of the bar. Stupid dice went cold at the wrong time. Until I pay him what I owe, 700 pyres, I'm not going anywhere. Is there anything else I can do to get you out? Talk it over with Harker. Maybe you'll be feeling generous. She snorts as if she's made a joke. A more likely possibility is he'll try and put a knife between your ribs. 
Assuming he doesn't, or you survive it, you ought to know he hides his money in his private quarters. Would be a shame if someone stole it. What can you tell me about Harker? You haven't heard the rumors, I take it. Your voice drops to a raspy whisper. Some people say he's the Red King. The infamous pirate? I heard he was lost at the sea years ago. What is that? Aristocrat. Aye, I'd heard that too. But some folks say he faked his death to escape the wrath of the Valian Republics. The elf leans closer. <laughs> Cons... I really need to learn how to pronounce that word properly. Conspiratically. Uh, the murmur ne near your ear. Those same folks say that Harker was the Red King. Oh, is that so? Licking the corner of her mouth, she straightens. She smooths her hair with trembling fingers. I wouldn't go on asking him about it, if you know what I mean. Harker's got a nasty reputation. A real violent disposition. And besides, people in this port generally don't like others prying into their past. Alright. So we gotta kill Harker. I look like a friendly dude, but like... Okay, sure. We can kill him. Anything over here? Cabin boy. Or oh, maybe don't mess with them. Hey, Harker, I heard you were the red fighter. Oh, I'm not that sneaky. Damn. What? Party assist of zero? Damn, that's very disappointing, guys. It's not gonna work. We don't have what? How do I don't have party assist? What can I do for you? Zero. What? How is, is that possible? Street Fights one. Street Fights one. Street Fights two. Street Fights five. What? Am I missing something here? What can I do for you? Requires not met. What? Oh, maybe they are too far away. What can I do for oh, you? Oh, yeah. I heard rumors you're the Red King, the infamous pirate. Infamous to his enemies, famous to his friends. In Aris's eyes, as Sizes you up before saying more. Folks decided to call me the Red King. I had nothing to do with that. But I didn't tell them to stop, neither. See, the Valian Republics drove my dar out of business. And I repaid them in kind by taking their ships and their treasure. A whole lot of it. Got right tired of ship hunters crawling up my ass every time I went out to sea, though. So I paid off my crew. Scuttled this ship here and went my merry way. In other words, the Red King is dead. And if you ask me any more about it, you will be too. So, we had to pay him off. How, how are we supposed to even steal here? So we, we are being observed. No one is really a good sneak in our team. Done and done. My fingers be fat. Easy breezy, wet. Sleep. Wow, that worked out pretty well. Hey, the deep what? The demon? Andres crushing void. I'm starved. Okay, we took some of his money. Hey Jacob. What can I do for you? Ah, oh, how about seven hundred copper? Got to you, did she? The woman can spot a soft hearted mark from fifty paces. Like a sixth sense or something. Remarkable. 
He nods to you uh, conspiratically, as if he didn't uh, just imply you were a sucker, easily parted from your money. I know. Maya cocks her head and listens. Here's the thing, though. It's more profitable for me to keep her under my thumb, so sweet as your offer is, you can keep your money. Unless there's something else you need, I think we're done here. What? Yeah. Guys, come, come next to me. We need to intimidate him. What can I do for you? I made my position on that clear. You think I've changed my mind? I, I was hoping that you did. Will you take something else in exchange for her freedom? Let's discuss something else. You cannot disarm the trap. Do you wish to trigger it? No, I guess not. No problem. Jacob. What can I do for you? I made my position. What will you take? Clear. You uh, think in exchange mind. for her freedom. If I wanted something else, I'd have asked for it. Unless there's something else you need, I think we're done here. What? What if I attack you? <laughs> Tyrion actually wants to fight me. Sorry, Bye, Turner. That is perfect. We kill him. Free boost for everybody. How's that not okay? We need to pay him double? Oh, come on. What if I trigger his trap? Is that stealing or that's stealing? Black Pearl. Another one? It's not my time yet. We got it all? Or what? No, it keeping an eye out. Aye. Aye aye. More than my eyes, be it. Can you just uh wait? Then sneak up there and take all the stuff? No, it's not gonna work. Maybe you can hide in the corner. Doesn't work. Can we just turn the direction, the attention of this guy? Somewhere else? I don't think it's gonna work though. Oh, 1,400? Do okay, let's pay 1,400 for the, the, you think I've the woman. My mind? Yeah. Look at you, big spender. Word of caution now. You don't want to look too desperate around here. Pirates can sniff that out easy as stink on fish. Turn is free to go. Why? You couldn't intimidate him. Damn. God damn it. I need to get better at these conversation thingies. Hey, Terna. Endless thanks for taking care of my debt. See you at the play. Alright. That pe that play better be awesome. We already got the blind guy uh, signed up. It is gotta be the best play ever. I'm paying big bucks for that. Uh, we gotta go back, but I think first we should check out the Balefire Beacon. What is it here? I don't know why I paid so much for that woman. Maybe they're gonna be grateful for me. Actually, uh, doing that. Oh, this is a big place. Anyway, uh, this is a good time to take a break. So, thanks for watching, guys, and see you next time.